Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Timmy. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, how are you guys doing? Today's video is a continuation of how TK, my friend, and I became project managers in the United Kingdom. It is just a part two of the first video. And if you haven't seen the first video, don't worry. I'm going to leave the link up here so you can check that out so you can you know catch up and be up to speed that it was a long video so we thought to make it part one and part two so you guys can enjoy it entirely so make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video give it a thumbs up and leave comments in the comment section all right and let's enjoy the video when i got the job i asked my manager okay what made me stand out compared to yeah, the other. Yeah, you need to ask. Yes. Just to get information. For yeah, for the next people. people yeah. For people there. Not even the next people. For for your own future, like to improve on yourself. Oh, really? So there might be something about you that you don't even know mm. that stood out. Mm. And you can say, oh, the way you're able to convince me about yes. this and that. Yes. And you see that, oh, so I can convince someone about this and that. I will work on it. Yes. And for future purposes, I will be able to convince people to sell, you know, give me their house for free. <laughs> Or give me all their money. Give them. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, so I asked him and he was like, as, as a project manager, you are selling, you, either you are selling yourself, you are selling the project you are working on. So um, he was like, so that was so I was able to sell sell myself to yeah. him. Because they don't know anything about They don't know anything about you. So you need to tell them everything that, you know, they want to know that fits that role. Yes. They don't know you did um, BSCS management. Yes. management. Yes. It wasn't in my own application. Yeah, and one other thing. When you know the people that are interviewing you, go to the LinkedIn and stalk them. Stalk them and look for common ground. See that me. Will connect. Do you know what I did? <laughs> I went to go and look for my. I didn't even know that was my manager. Mm -hmm. I went to go and look for him. I didn't even care. I was shameless. You like see that I reviewed your profile. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> It's public information. <laughs> I went to go and look for his profile. I was looking through it. Ah, he went to the army. Like he spent like almost half of his life, mm -hmm. like 20 something years in the army. I was like, bro, I, I know I, you now. I, army together. I went to an army uh, military secondary school. I was like, we should have something in common. We're very high on discipline. We're very high on, you know, get the job done. One thing we don't want to hear is you can't do it. Mm -hmm. You have to get the job done, no matter what, because. Is it that do or die? Yeah. In the army. We we're taught by soldiers and anyways. So during my interview, like was asking me some type of question about how I stood out or whatever. I'm like, I'm very disciplined. Yes. I, I was very privileged to go to a military secondary school back in Nigeria. So I know for sure time management is important. <laughs> Uh, Getting the job done is important. I'm very disciplined. I am and I am accountable. <laughs> see, I think, see, I think he was writing, like you'll be writing what you're saying. When you say typing, uh, the moment I said is I that went really? to a military Yeah, because that's it's we're human beings. I think that caught his attention. attention yes. that like, oh wow. Mm -hmm. And you being somebody that has been in the military, you know what you're expecting from somebody who says Mm -hmm. They've somewhat been in the military. And I will repeat it. I spent seven years in secondary school <laughs> instead of six years. <laughs> so I spent seven years with soldiers. Mm -hmm. So tell me why I wouldn't learn one or two. Exactly. Things. I think those are the things that will let you be who you are today. So yeah. yeah. So look for how you connect with them. Yes. Then the second interview I started as a graduate project manager. And I asked him, you know, you started as a graduate project manager. What are the things you did to become who you are today? And I was looking at yes. him like, how did you know? Bro, I went to look for you. <laughs> Seriously, I'm with that question, of, oh, do you have any question for us? Yeah, yeah. Do you have you any question? Have question no? Yes. Because I asked him, okay, you said you were in the military. How are you able to connect being in the military to being a project manager? Like, What's the correlation? I want to know how I can bring my own military skills, yeah. skills and you know my soft skills in becoming like a good project manager and all that. And mm -hmm. you know, he was impressed. That <laughs> yeah, because I think it's mine. One, one, one of the interviewers for mine, she went to she just did something in Kenya. I don't know what she did. You know, nobody even told me. Or Kenya. Nobody even told me to even do that. In my mind, I was like. It's something I should do. I should look for how I can like connect to them. Yeah, yeah, and like talk to them in a, on a yeah. personal level, so they feel like you know you already know them. Yes. Some sort, not like in a stalkish way. Yes. 
they do as if you don't know that they were even in the military. Don't be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did this. Oh, you too, you did this. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she talked about me. being in Kenya. Oh, yeah, she said she did something in Kenya, but lo and behold, that person, that she did not, she was not on my panel. So the other, so uh, there were two people. The first person, one person was not on my panel. The second person was, but I had already done, prepared what I'm going to speak to, um, like towards the Kenya or something. But since that one did not work, the other person also was a graduate um, in the company as well. So I was asking like, oh, um, like what's, um, so why, why, I asked why you, you've been, I saw that you, were, you have been in the company for up to six years. What has kept you here? Because people who do jobs that have very high turnover. Yeah. And so what has kept you here? And it was, and people like to talk, people like to talk. So when you ask them questions like that, normally you sit at the bus stop alone, cause for a conversation. Yes. In England. Mm-hmm. So people like not to talk, especially London. talk about no, not those big cities. Not London. London. Uh, Manchester too are not really no, nice people. Well, over here, up north. Yes, they are kind of. Uh, people really? normally people like to talk. So when you ask them questions about themselves, you see them rambling. They don't even want to stop because in, in interview you end up talking more because they are trying to know about you. So when you ha- when they have to talk. They'll be really happy that, like, unconsciously. Yeah. They'll yeah, just yeah, be, yeah. So you ask them this kind of question. And then another thing that <laughs> this just happened yesterday. And this is a different thing. So um, they, they asked me, what was the last, when was the last thing, or what was the last thing you had to learn? That like, was the last time you had to learn. And I was like, oh, I'm trying to learn, like, um, a new language. I, didn't, I don't think I said a new language. So the other person was like, oh yeah, yeah my partner is um, French. Is French, and I like to, I was like, wait, hey, like, you should try this app, Babu. Do you know that this guy went to actually go and subscribe for the Babu? <laughs> he told me that he, I'm owing him 80 pounds because- <laughs> Because he subscribed to Because he subscribed to Babu, that I'm owing him 80 pounds, but yeah, you just try to, because you have to know that many people don't have a lot of, like, can I say this, black people in the company? Yeah, so they are trying to include, EDI, yes, equality, equality diversity, diversity, and inclusion. Inclusion. So we are like the so, diversity. Yes. <laughs> Many people don't know, it, and it's not like they only hired us because we, we are, are black. No, because there were many black people that must have applied for the job. And many so. white people. Yes, and many white people. And so, yeah. so the thing is, many people day to day will not have, will not know black people. Like the same way, I don't have a lot of white friends because I'm black. Yeah. In the same way, they don't have a lot of black people. So when when you're in this kind of situation, you kind of interview, they want to you want to see they want to see that okay, these people actually do this kind of things that I do. They are also like trying to learn a new language. So, so the same way trying to learn French. And the thing is that when you have diversity in your company, you learn more than just your day to day. Yes. Know, whatever it could be, she making a dish for them that they don't know anything about, or she telling them something yes. random. From the country, I don't think the the first time I told somebody here that you know before I can move into a man's house, you need to pay my dowry or my bride price. It was like, are they buying you? I was like, no, but you need to show that you know this is an exchange for mm-hmm. me taking your daughter, some sort. But he was baffled anyways. Yeah. No, those are the things I believe they, they like to hear about it. Yeah, like, they like hearing about like, it. Like I think I'm, I'm on like my internal CV and they put like languages. I put Steve and Ibu because my, my dad is Steve, my mom is Ibu. And the person that asked me for the CV, I don't even know why he asked for that CV to today. He was like, oh, that's very interesting. Normally, I don't talk to this guy, but that was a, a new thing to him. He was like, what is language? Where are they from? <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're from, they're from Nigeria. And they like to hear, even when you go out for like, to like to have drinks with them. They want to, they want to learn, learn about, about what, your, what goes on in your, in your country. country. Yeah, yeah, and then I was talking about, because my, my manager is There's somebody that, that has been stopping me for Jollof Rice since. <laughs> The day I made a jollof fries for her, just tiny tiny pepe. No, she, she drank water after her that milk. <laughs> no, drink milk. <laughs> no, yeah, they always they, they want to know more about you. That's the whole point of um, EDI. And I've not I've not had any. And it's a big deal in like it's companies deal. in big companies. Yeah, now, you need yeah. to make sure everyone feels. Yes, I think the, the aim and equal. The, yeah. the aim is they want the company to look like the streets of the the city so the way you see multi like different races of people on the streets they want the company to be a picture of the streets that's that's the like the goal of edi they want the diversity do you miss because i'm chef i'm a chef and it's a very kind of metropolitan city there are many different races so the, they want that representation in the company because you can see things from different perspectives like when people are different from different backgrounds you can see things from different perspectives so it's quite important yeah. to companies now so so apply apply so to the company apply anyways why in um 
August now. Mm. So in like next two months, the new cycle should start in most companies. I'm going to put the name of the website where we use on the screen now. If mm -hmm. you don't see, check the description box. And then um, you need to start checking. Every single day, jobs are added. So if you don't see a job you like today or a job that, you know, doesn't resonate with you, check tomorrow. New jobs get added every single day. Then one thing that is important that we didn't mention is you don't need to study project management to become a project manager. No. So there are people who did like business, international business, something, something. People that did geography and they got jobs as graduate project managers. Yes. Why? Because they were able to convince the interviewer about their soft skills mm -hmm. and during the application process, they were able to show that you know, I can't. nobody knew I was. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, in my application, I put project manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, even yes. if you you are you didn't study project management, and it's something you want to do, or something you think you can handle, please go bigger. Go yeah. Bold. Sorry. One last thing. When when you are writing your CV, make sure that most of the keywords in the job description. And your CV because for big companies, it's the computer that will screen the first people mm -hmm. and they're looking for mm -hmm. keywords in your application. And make, make sure you're even qualified for the job you're applying for because uh, a part where I feel like an essay part was why, why are you applying for this job and why do you think you fit the whatever? Mm -hmm. So I wrote that I have read the job description and I feel I am a perfect match because. I studied project management. I have I a did background. This module, yes. I have a background in estate management, which consists of construction, buildings, properties, commercial properties, etc. And I am, you know, good with communication. I am good with. See, I'm just sell yourself. Honestly. Sell yourself. To be honest, because and nobody knows anything about you. Apply for graduate jobs. It's even if you want to do something that's exactly what you studied. You can still look for ones that you can convince them enough to do. The main thing is just trying to con convince them. So anyone for graduate job because you're going to they're going to teach you everything you need to know yeah, about it, yeah. when you get there. Learning on it. So yes. They are, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. They are just but that's what I said. They work well, proper work. This is my I think this is my my one year. I think at the end of this month, one year in the mm. in the job. Do you, mm, let me just say this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> This this um, the end of this month will be my one year in the job. So now I cannot claim to be a newbie in the oh, company. No, no, no. So now I, so I have she's to do the full on work, work, work. So you see, uh, all of you that used to be say, ah, you know, uh, we 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 graduated together. Why is this person, you know, ahead of me? Tickets That's ahead of meant. me. And I'm learning everything. I wish, from her. I wish, me like this. I wish that somebody was said, I want to just meet somebody. Tell me what I want and what I need to do. I have to do work and I'm not happy about it. Um, so thank you everyone for watching this video. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> do you have anything? No, I have nothing. Say, word of say. advice go bigger, go bold. Yes, be confident in yourself. Do, and be able you to you work. can act, you can do it. As far as you, you did your masters, as far as you did your masters, because they, they like to have. See that you did school in the UK. They don't sometimes they don't regard our universities in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought they that you did a, you did school, like masters, BSc, anything. I thought they that you sell yourself. That yeah. they just sell yourself. The fact that you even got an interview means you're interested in you. Exactly, exactly. And and all I was saying to myself was I just need one interview. Yes, and, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry for you. Thank you, dear. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, you can do it. I, we can do it. We need more people in the companies. More we, need, we, we need more people in the company because it's nice to just look around and see that. Oh, yeah, somebody that, you can look that and person say, oh, we look yeah. alike. Yeah, <laughs> even if you don't look the person, you're like, oh, it's just nice to see see people that look like you. Yeah, when um, they start signing their first job or like a job, the, 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 the only black girl ran to her like, oh my god! And they became friends instantly because, you know, you're from the same race. Even yeah. if you're not even from the same country, no. she's from Ivory Coast or... It does not matter. Some, somewhere, like, but, you know, because we're... Africans. Same, yeah, or from the yeah. same continent or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, thank for watching you. this video. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions, remember to leave them in the comment section below i'll be sure to answer them and if i don't just send me an email yeah. i'll do that one faster yeah um 
TK2 is starting like a new YouTube channel, so yes. I'll put her channel link in the description box. She's going to be yeah. talking about project management stuff, yeah, how to move, how to do this and that. If you have any sort of thing around the profession in UK here, TK will be your girl. Me, I'm continuing my lifestyle. I'm your talk. <laughs> so remember to subscribe and subscribe to TK's channel so you don't miss any of her own, you know, information and content. And I'll just see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>